Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. Have you ever forgotten the password for your Linux system? For your user or for root? Or for some reason the password stopped working? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it. And this is going to work for Debian and Debian based distributions and also for Arch and Arch based distributions. Now, the thing is, I always keep and I'm just going to grab this. I always keep a USB stick with a live ISO from Arch Linux on it. And you can use this to boot into a Debian system or an Arch system or Arch based systems and Debian based systems. And log into it and you can redo your password or fix the password for your user and for root. So I always keep one of these on hand and I'll use this to boot into a bare metal machine where I'm having trouble with it. Now, if you're trying to log into a virtual machine that you're having trouble with, then you'll have to always keep a live ISO of Arch Linux on your system. Now, there is a caveat to this, and that is this won't work for a system that's encrypted. That is, if your system is encrypted and you forgot your encryption password, there's nothing you can do. The only thing you can do is to format the hard drive and reinstall the system. And also, there's another thing that if you do remember your encrypted password and you want to log into it and mount to it with this USB drive, that I'm not going to show you today. So what I'm going to show you today, I'm not going to deal with trying to log into and mount an encrypted drive. But if your drive is not encrypted, then what I'm going to show you will work today. So let's get to it. So I'm in Vert Manager and I'm going to log into Linux Mint 21.1 .1 with a live ISO from Arch Linux. So I've already hooked it up. So I so it will boot into the live ISO. So I'm going to click on Linux Mint. I'm going to click on the play button. And what I'm doing is I'm using a live ISO from Arch Linux to boot into my Linux Mint installation. And like I said, this will work on a virtual machine and will also work on bare metal. And like I said before, it's going to work for Debian, Debian-based systems, and Arch Linux, and Arch Linux-based systems. And it's just booting in, and we're there. Now, this first step, you don't have to do. I'm just going to do it because I want to make the font larger so it looks better in the video. So I'm going to type in set font. Here, dash 132 N. Oh, that's better. I'm going to clear the screen. And now what you want to, the first thing you want to do is you want to LSBLK to see where your drives are. So we're looking at the partition drives for my Linux Mint installation. And you can see that, now I can't use my mouse because we're in, we're in a TTY. So VDA3 is my 40 gig hard drive. Or should I say VDA3 is my 40 gig partition for my Linux Mint system. And uh, that's the one I want to use. Now, if you're logging into uh, installation on bare metal, usually it's going to be SDA2. And... Um, and in some of my virtual systems, it would be VDA2 rather than 3. But for this installation of, for this install of uh, Linux Mint, it's VDA3. And that's why I do the LSBLK. So what I'm going to do is type in this command, mount slash dev slash VDA3. I'm going to leave a space slash mnt 
I'm going to hit enter. And now I've mounted into the system. Then I'm going to type in this command arch the root and I typed it in wrong. So let's clear the screen and we're going to type it in again. I missed a step. I'm going to type in arch dash the root space slash mnt just like that so now i'm logged into my linux mint system and if i want to change my password i would type in password mench hit enter Type in my new password, type it in again, and it's done. Password updated successfully. And let's say I wanted to change the password for root in my Linux Mint system. I would type in password. Uh, sorry, because I'm already logged into root, I don't have to specify a user or the root name. So I just type in password and don't forget there's no O and there's no R. It's pass WD. Just type in pass WD. It's asking me for my password. And it's done. And if for some reason your password broke, then you could just reuse your old passwords. If you don't want to change the passwords, you don't want to make a new password, just reuse the old passwords. And many times it will fix it. And of course, if you've forgotten the password, it will fix it. Like I said before, this won't work if your drive is encrypted and you forgot the encryption password, then you're out of luck. And the other thing is, if your drive is encrypted and you do remember the encryption password, there's a whole different method and different commands you have to type in to mount into the system, which I'm not going to show you in this video. So I successfully changed the password for my user and for root, and now I'm going to dismount. So I'm going to type in exit. And just to make sure I completely unmounted, I'm going to type in umount rmnt. And I'm out. And now all I got to do is shut down. Oh, sorry. Now I got to do is shut down now. And it's going to shut down. And I redid my passwords or fixed them. In this video, I showed you how to log into your system when you can't remember your password and when you can't remember the root password and also how to fix the password when for some reason your password stops working. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Linux Mensch.